Hi guys, good evening, and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Odie Eddie, and in today's video, I'll be discussing what I thought of some of the big announcements, reveals, and confirmations, and WTF moments we got uh, earlier this week from the big Disney investor meeting, which happened on Thursday. So what happens with these kind of meetings, as we've seen from the past, is that Disney will present to its uh, group of investors all of its, well, not all of it, but a majority of upcoming content content for the next two to three years. And in this case, they showcase a lot of upcoming live action and animated Star Wars TV shows, ones that were long speculated and rumored and now officially confirmed, and some we had no idea were happening, and then a lot of unexpected live action Marvel shows as well. I'm primarily going to be talking about the Star Wars stuff in this video. I may or may not do a Marvel one later, but I'm definitely pumped and hyped up for all the Star Wars shit. So unsurprisingly, they confirmed a third season for the Mandalorian. Surprise, surprise. Season finale is already next week, you guys. I can't believe it. Hopefully it's going to be a banger. Whew. Um, and what's more shocking is that they actually gave us a pretty good time frame as to when we can expect it. So about a year from now, they said Christmas 2021. They didn't say that the season three premiere would be December 25th, 2021. They just said season three would be on Disney Plus for Christmas of next year. No exact date has been given yet, but I'm sure as time goes on, we will learn more. But it is exciting to know that... Um, Season 3 is indeed officially coming, even though it was kind of already known for a while. It's just nice to hear it in an official capacity. Moving on, we got uh, more exciting news that the Star Wars film that was slated for 2023 is now coming out in December of 2023 from Wonder Woman writer-director Patty Jenkins, and it's called Rogue Squadron, based off of like Rebel Pilots. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> the little teaser that they showed, which showed Patty Jenkins actually talking about her real life father, who was apparently a flyer in the Air Force and was killed in the line of duty in the service of his country. He was a big inspiration to her to take on this project and tell a story about rebel pilots. And it sounds fucking awesome and I can't wait so I'm very much looking forward to that film we've also got an Ahsoka TV show which was long rumored and speculated since her appearance on The Mandalorian a few weeks ago so yippee about that we also have a Lando TV show in the works now what's interesting is they didn't outright confirm if Donald Glover or if Billy D. Williams will be replaying the role of Rent Lando that remains unclear but it's exciting to know that a Lando show is coming it's also unclear if this is meant to be an ongoing TV series or if it's a limited event or a mini series. And speaking of limited events, uh, the Obi-Wan Kenobi mini series is now confirmed to be set 10 years after the events of Revenge of the Sith and Hayden Christensen is coming back as Darth Vader. Oh my god! Did not see that coming, and I am beyond thrilled. <laughs> What's curious about that is, will they use James Earl Jones as Vader's voice, or will Hayden Christensen do it himself? I don't know. Either way, there's nothing we can do about it, but I am so fucking pumped and excited for it. We also have uh, the other show coming from the creator of the show Russian Dolls on Netflix, I believe, called The Acolyte, which is set to be sound like a mystery thriller set in the darker uh, seedier parts of the galaxy during the High Republic era. Sounds intriguing. I'm looking forward to it. Let's see what else. Oh, they also talked about some other stuff I really don't care about or interested in. Indiana Jones 5, I guess a fifth Indiana Jones film is coming. Yay. Didn't care for Kingdom of Crystal Skull, so I'm really indifferent on that. Also, they announced an animated droid, an animated uh, series uh, following uh, R2 and 3PO called A Droid Story, which I'm really not that interested in. I like those two just fine, but to do a whole series around them, I don't know. Uh, and then they announced this project, Children of Blood and Bone. I don't know if that's based off a book or something, but again, not really interested. It didn't pique my antennas. All of the Star Wars stuff did. Oh, and of course they showed off an awesome sizzle reel for the one I'm most excited for. Andor, the Cassian Andor prequel series. I'm so fucking excited and happy. The behind the scenes shit was already blowing my mind. I cannot wait to see what they do in the first season. And of course they confirmed that the beloved Willow TV show 
Movies show is coming in 2022 as well. It was an exciting, fucking awesome day on Thursday getting all this news and announcements, and I cannot wait for all of it. How do you guys feel about all these upcoming projects? Which one are you most looking forward to? I want to hear your thoughts and your opinions down below in the comments section. Thanks again for watching. Have an awesome rest of your night. Stay tuned and subscribe to this channel for further updates on any and all of the topics I covered in this video. Have an awesome rest of your night, and of course, until next time, may the Force be with you.